Good evening, welcome to our service of Compline. The image before you is an amazing woman, Caroline Jones, who married and became Caroline Chisholm, born 1808, became a Catholic on marrying, immigrated to Madras, where she set up a school for soldiers' daughters. In 1838, they moved to Australia. And the minute they began almost, she began working with the vulnerable immigrants arriving at Sydney. Especially concerned for the women who often were lured and bullied into brothels. She set up a free registry office to help them to get legitimate work and shelter. She campaigned for improved conditions. A woman who then came back to Britain. But a woman who changed lives because of the power of the gospel in her life. A real example, a real credit, a powerful and compassionate and effective woman. Our call is that. We pause for a moment and we, perhaps humbled by a woman who, in the time when women could do so little, did so much. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So, we reflect on all the day has been, its sorrows and its joys. And in the day where I have worked with women in fellowship, a group of amazing women who, since 1916, have been pushing back the frontiers for women. We think of all we've done and for the things that are wrong, we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness, that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work, and to their labour, until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. 
When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dead. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his work. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For God will be their light and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, Alleluia, as he promised to you, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father God, at the close of another day, we bring before you our thanks and praise for all we have seen, been and done, and had done to us, for blessings given and received, for the joys of a warm day for the sun the blue skies and your blessings we thank you and we come before you now as we prepare for our beds and lay before you all that is in our hearts and minds we pray for those we know who need a touch from you in body mind and spirit we pray for those who have struggles in families in work in making ends meet those we know who need your provision, your care and your forgiveness. We pray for the broken places of the world and for all that burdens us this night. And we, wherever we are, lift to you the thoughts and prayers of our hearts and minds. Let us pray. And Father, I thank you for the work of women in fellowship. Women who meet to be social, to be intellectually challenged and to grow in their faith. May we, like them, seek to grow, to witness and to share. We pray for our families and our friends. 
we pray for our loved ones and those perhaps known only known, known only by circumstance and situation. Pray for peace in the world and peace in the hearts of all mankind. And as we pray that you, God, our Redeemer, who delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son, grant that as by his death he's recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us, may he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thanks for being with us this evening. Don't forget Thursday, Ascension Day. And then 10 days and it's Pentecost. Thanks for your company. Thanks for being family with us. Good night. God bless you.